I work on computational fluid dynamic simulations of the Earth. Virtual reality in scientific research is a way for you to conceptualize and interact with output from high performance computing resources uh, or work with big data. Whereas if you work in a lab, you can simulate a problem with you know, physical features that you can then see what those results are. But when you're solving uh, problems on high performance computing resources, you don't, you don't see that information. It's just sort of running around the wires of the machine. And so then you get back uh, your gigabytes of, of data. And so with the 3D VR, it enabled me to take those numbers, unmap them and put them on on a model grid that I could step inside. Also, it's a way to superimpose multiple data sets to see that the three-dimensional relations between those different data sets. And um, this kind of analysis isn't just applied, say, to computational fluid dynamic simulations of the Earth. You can see it with medical imaging, exploration of the interior of the human body. If you just imagine any kind of domain where you can't access it directly and things are sort of moving and connecting in three dimensions, there are there applications. And so I've interacted with the astronomical community, the medical community, all over. It's so pervasive. I use it now in teaching all the time and it, it fundamentally changes the paradigm for how science is taught. The textbooks have these 2D cartoons and they try to do it in 3D, but when you can literally take the students inside and, and look at this three-dimensional information, they're forever changed and they're forever at an advantage because they uh, it's like a picture's worth a thousand words and so sort of immersing in a three-dimensional picture and an experience is worth, I don't know, a million words.